This is the nightclub guide of 2023. There are a total 10 nightclub locations to choose from. Let me show you which nightclub you should buy. First, open up your phone and head over to Mazebank. Filter for nightclubs and here you will see all the locations. The top locations are the most expensive ones, but will save you the most time when doing these sell missions. The lower you go, the longer your travel time will be, so get your business in this area. Now for the upgrades, you don't need any of them, except this one, the storage upgrade. You have two options over here. The first one allows you to have a bigger storage for the product, meaning you would have to sell the best less often i would recommend you upgrading your storage but if you currently do not have the money for it you can always upgrade this later on the second option is to expand your garage you don't really need to upgrade this one the standard option is more than enough now it's time to set up the nightclub so you can start making money with this for the first time enter your business you'll be introduced to your nightclub by tony your nightclub is currently empty and generating you no money yet Go to your laptop and you will have to do two setup missions to get the nightclub running. One is for the staff and the other for the equipment. These are fairly easy and won't take you a long time to complete. For the staff mission, you will have to pick up three members that will be working for your nightclub. And for the equipment mission, you have to pick up the music equipment from this car and deliver it back to your business. There are two ways to make money with the nightclub. In the right bottom corner, you will see your wall safe and the popularity. Let me explain to you how this works. Every 48 minutes, money will be added to your wall safe. The amount that is being added depends on the popularity of your nightclub. The more popular the nightclub is, the more money you're going to make. This is how you keep the nightclub popularity bar all the way up. If you go back to your laptop, you will see the nightclub management option. This way to fill up the popularity bar is completely free. If you click on promote club, the mission will start. You can also start this mission by calling Tony on your phone and choosing request club management. Completing this mission will increase the popularity bar by 25% and earn you some money as well. These missions are fairly easy. I usually take around five to 10 minutes to complete. The second way to increase your popularity bar is by hiring a DJ. In the nightclub management section, you will see four DJs to choose from. If you've never hired a DJ before, this will cost you 100K and fill the popularity bar all the way up. If you've previously hired a DJ, this will only cost you 10K and increase the popularity bar by 10%. But there's even a better option, which is completely free and takes only a few seconds. Every 48 minutes, you will either see a blue dot or a blue person on your map in the nightclub. If you go to the blue dot, you have to kick out a troublemaker from your nightclub. It's literally only one button you have to press and your popularity bar increases by 25% which also earns you another 11k. The other icon means that you have to escort a VIP to a certain location on your map. This will take a bit longer, but do these two things as well. Make sure that you keep an eye on this bar when driving. Your VIP can get spooked if you drive too fast or crash too much. Mission will then fail and not increase the popularity bar. A full popularity bar at 50k every 48 minutes to your wall safe. In total, your safe can take up to $250,000, so make sure to collect the money before it reaches that amount. Now, before I go into the second way to make money with the nightclub, it's important to know which upgrades you should buy for the business. First, the staff upgrade, which is the cheapest one. This upgrade reduces the popularity bar getting decreased every in-game day, which will only be 5% with the upgrade. Definitely get yourself this one. The security upgrade for almost 700k will reduce your nightclub from getting raided. It's not necessary to get this upgrade, so if you don't have the money for it, it's not a problem. And then, we got the most expensive one, the equipment upgrade. This will allow the technicians to get the goods faster to your warehouse. I haven't talked yet about the technicians. This is where the second way of making money with the nightclub starts. In your nightclub, you have an underground warehouse. If you go to your laptop and choose the warehouse management, you will see all the technicians. These technicians will collect all the goods and deliver it to your warehouse. This is completely passive. In total, you will see seven goods. Each one of them is associated with a business in GTA Online. 
The cargo and shipments is unlocked when you own a hangar or a special cargo warehouse. The sports good is for the bunker business, South American imports is for the white stuff business, pharmaceutical research, the meth lab, cash creation, the counterfeit cash factory, organic produce, the green farm, and finally printing and copying is for the document forgery office. If you want to assign a technician to one of these seven goods, you need to own that specific business. So if you would want to assign a technician to the sporting goods, you would have to own a bunker business. It doesn't matter what upgrades you have for the bunker business, as long as it's running and not shut down, you will be able to assign a technician to it. As you can see, I don't have a counterfeit cash factory, which has this option locked for me. Now each good earns you a different amount of money. These are the revenues per hour for each good. Since you only have 5 technicians, you want to assign them to the ones which earns you the most amount of money. Do that in this following order to make the most profit. You get one free technician when buying the nightclub, the other four you will have to hire them yourself and actually pay for it. You're also able to source the goods on your own. You can do this by calling your hand or your phone where you then can request a nightclub goods mission. Here you simply have to pick up cargo and deliver this back to your business. This also earns you a nice 10k. There is a cooldown of 20 minutes before you start the next one. If you don't have many businesses, this could be a way to fill up your warehouse but I don't recommend doing this as it's time consuming and removes the option to let the nightclub run as a passive business. Now that you know how the warehouse works, it's time to sell the goods. There are two ways to sell this. The first one is with the special orders. If you sell it when you filled up different goods, you'll end up earning a bit more money when selling only those specific goods. So in this case, if you have a combination of the sporting goods, the printing and copying, and the South American imports, you can sell this for some extra money. The second way is to simply sell all the goods in one mission. You can do all these missions in an invite only session to avoid grievers. If you do decide to sell in a public lobby, you're able to get a 2% extra payout for each player that's in there. When you're selling in a public lobby, always join the ghost organization which will hide you off the entire map for 3 minutes. The amazing thing is that you will only get one vehicle when selling, meaning you can do it all completely solo. If you have up to 89 crates, you will get the Speedo Custom, which is a standard vehicle in your warehouse. If you have between 90 and 179 crates, you will have to buy the Mule Custom in order to deliver the crates. Or if you have 180 crates or more, you need to buy the Pounder Custom. You can upgrade these vehicles with armor and weapons, making these sell missions a bit easier. Something that's way easier to make money with and less complex is the bunker business. Watch this video on how to do that.